So we were talking about management of persistent occipital posterior, and it was very difficult to do that during the PowerPoint. So I'm gonna show you guys a few tips and tricks here with our lovely baby model and pelvis, as realistic as it gets. <laughs> so what position is this baby in right now? occiput posterior. Which side? To the left. So left occiput posterior. So to help us to uh, rotate this baby so that they can become OA, we'll do a couple of things. We want mom to tilt toward her right side. So we're going to put some pillows underneath the left. And of course, we've already talked to mom about the risks. So the 1% risk of C-section needed for um, fetal issues like heart rate problems afterward and we've already broken down the bed so pretend this is like your labor bed and you know mom's hips are at the very edge here as well and that it is at your arm like comfortable arm height while you're standing so I'll move over here so you all can see it so the first thing that you want to do is use your dominant hand which of course for me is the right so I'm going to try not to get in the way so you can see but basically you would use your right hand slide it all the way back onto the back of baby's head and really flex the neck forward. If you do not flex the neck forward, you won't be rotating the whole body and it, you won't really get any rotation because the diameter will be too big for rotation. So flex forward to get baby's chin there. And then Dr. Barker, if you'd be our lovely assistant. I would love to. So Dr. Barker is gonna be on mom's uh, right side over here and going to gently through the abdominal skin, imagine abdominal skin here, milk this anterior shoulder to that side as I am rotating. So we will rotate baby so that they are now away. So the rotation is made easier because mom's pelvis is on a tilt, which is why I tilted initially. And that also allows you to use your dominant hand regardless of whether mom is um, ROP or LOP, because otherwise you might have to switch hands and use your non-dominant that's not quite as strong. So we've now moved baby to OA and baby can successfully deliver vaginally.